Hey babes, good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, so I'm still stuck on this, okay? So I wanna go over this one more time. Um, they did flag that video, so I'm going to um, just explain it. I wrote everything down. So it says, this is about a girl named Rachel, okay? And what we're gonna do here is compare what Rachel went through um, and Kanika Jenkins went through. Okay, so first and foremost, <clears throat> with Rachel, it happened on a September evening, just like Kanika, correct? Okay, so Rachel went to a party, just like Kanika, with seven gang members. Now, I can't name exactly how many gang members were there, but we know gang members were there. Um, she felt safe around her friends and Maurice Rivas. So she felt safe and comfortable around these people. And there was one person there, a male, that she felt safe around. And didn't we hear that um, Kanika's, somebody Kanika liked was going to be at the party? And that's how Monifa got her there. Okay. So now it's saying, um, Rachel, want, you okay? Rachel wanted to prove she did not snitch. Okay. And Kanika has been saying in EVP this whole time we've been doing her, she did not snitch. She's not a snitch, okay? Everyone was having a good time, just like there. John just arrived and doesn't like what he sees. So there was a knock at the door. And when they let them in, the person was not happy with what they were seeing. They were what they were seeing for Rachel. Rachel was everybody was having a good time. Now we do know they tried to say that it was a manager coming to the door. I don't buy that. Okay. So now he's angry. Everyone is having a good time. So he smacks a few of the gang members um in the face. Guns are drawn. Okay. Now where it says guns are drawn. I have a video showing um, that there was a gun at the party. Um, I don't know if I could find it right this second, but I'll try to look for it. Okay, I'll put a star next to this so I go back and look for it. Um, but there was definitely 100%, like 200%, I know for a fact there was a gun. i seen it. Okay, so now it says Rachel got scared and tried to leave out the door. Remember I have the, the video called the fight scene. I found the fight scene. Um, she's at the door. Rachel never made it out that door. Neither did Kanika. Um, she fell into a calculated trap set by John and his crew. So she fell into a, a premeditated, a very um, calculated, um, how do you, how, what else, what other word can I use? A very um, planned um, trap for her. Okay, um, and I feel like that's what happened to Kanika. She fell into a planned trap that happened to her, okay, um, set by John and his crew. Now, I remember in the very beginning, everybody was like, no, these kids aren't smart enough to do that, to pull this off. They're not smart enough to pull it off. They're just not smart enough. Um, I, I, I don't believe so. I believe they are very smart, and when they want something done, they're going to get it done. Um, it says, the horror just began, begun. They grab her by her hair from the door and hit her in the face, knock her down on the floor. Now, at that fight scene, I told you this is exactly what I saw. She ended up on the floor, and they dragged her into that bathroom. Um, a few other gang members started helping by kicking her in the head repeatedly. Someone orders the music to be turned up to drown out her screams precisely. Okay? Um, I believe that was Irene. They scoop up Rachel and took her to the garage. Now, I don't know if this would be taking her to the freezer or if this would be taking her to the bathroom first. I'm going to say bathroom first, okay? So they're they're in the garage and now they gag and tape her up. So I believe while she was in that bathroom is when they started tying and taping her up, okay? They left her in the garage while they planned their next move. So they left her for me. They left Kanika in the bathroom while they planned their next move. Um, they talked about gang rape. They talked about ransom. And they couldn't make up their minds. 
So you know what they did? They continued to party and get high as Rachel was still tied up in the garage. So while they were trying to figure out what they were doing, they were still partying because the party didn't stop right away. Um, they were still getting high. And, and they had this girl tied up. Now, the ending is not exactly the same. But this whole piece right here is precisely the same. The only difference is one of the babes pointed out is that she's white and Kanika's black. Her killers are, are convicted. Her killers are caught. Kanika's are still out there, able to do this again. Okay? Um... So I wanted to point that out. <sighs> this is a lot. It, it's way too many similar. Sim, sim, I'm sorry. Sim, oh my goodness, it's early. Sim, similarities. There's. It's just too many of them. Too many of them. I don't believe in coincidences. I don't feel I came upon this video by chance. Um, like I said, I don't believe in coincidences. I was shown this video for this reason. Okay, this is the reason I was drawn to this video. Um, I don't usually sit here and watch True Crime Daily. I do watch it every now and then, but today, yesterday when I saw it, I was drawn to it. And this is why. This is why. From the September evening, from the gang members, from the party, from everything, 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 I can literally put all her videos together in the order of Rachel's story. I can show you a video for every piece that Rachel has in her story for Kanika Jenkins. For Kanika Jenkins. Not for Rachel. For Kanika. Every single thing in this paper, every single thing in this paper is exactly almost to the T for Kanika. Why don't she have justice? Why? And what I feel like it boils down to is, number one, the gang members. Number two, the police. Number three, the hotel. Number four, the coroner. I feel like they all are together. There's some type of payoffs. If the, pay, the gangs are paying off the police, the police and, 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 and the hotel is paying off the police because they're a part of that because they know about that Rosemont organ harvesting. Um, now, I don't know if her, her organs were t took or anything like that, but I don't feel the gang members took Kanika's organs. I feel like the hotel people stepped in and the people in the hotel, you know, the higher up people, mm -hmm, they ended up doing the rest of it, okay? But this part is identical, and it's just too much. It's too, too identical, you know what I'm saying? So I want to point this out. Um, I, I could sit here and try to get every single video of Kanika's that matches this and put it all in one, just to show you how eerie, eerily similar it is, you know what I'm saying? Um, let me know what you think. Maybe you don't think it's like, similar at all. You know, let me know. But if you don't feel like it's similar, let me know why. Let me know why. Besides that she's white and she got justice, you know, which is really effed up. It's, it's beyond effed up. Because um, Kanika deserves justice, if anything, more. Because she don't have the justice. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. All right. I got to go. <laughs> I love you, babes.